breaking news welcome to today's headlines killing of biafran ipop get angry reviews what will happen to governor ifia in okoa ahead of 2023 killing of biafran ipop get angry Reviews what will happen to Governor Ifia in Yokoa ahead of 2023. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has reacted to the alleged killing of members of the separatist group in Delta State under the watch of Governor Ifiain Okoa. According to Ripples Nigeria, the spokesman of the group, Ima Powerful, made his known in a statement released on Wednesday stressing that Governor Okoa should stop playing ostrich while the gruesome killing of innocent people in the state continues. He added that if he failed to ensure that the atrocities committed by the security operatives stop across Delta State, his ambition to become vice president in 2023 will become a marriage. If Ifia and Yokoa continues to play ostrich, while this barbarity and shedding of innocent blood, innocent people's blood continue, IPO will ensure that his vice presidential ambition becomes marriage, powerful stated. He said, Delta State has become a safe haven for the Fulani terrorists under the administration of Mr. Lokoa, stressing that the separatist group is ready to fight the Fulani terrorists across the state because Delta remains part of Biafra territory. He added that Delta State is now a safe haven for these Fulani terrorists who are doing all manner of atrocities unchallenged, IPO are watching with keen interest, and we are ready to confront Fulani terrorists in Delta State because Delta State is part of the Biafran territory. The indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, has reacted to the alleged killing of members of the separatist group in Delta State under the watch of Governor Ifiai Okoa. According to Ripples Nigeria, the spokesman of the group, Ima Powerful, made his known in a statement released on Wednesday stressing that Governor Okoa should stop laying ostrich while the gruesome killing of innocent people in the state continues. He added that if he failed to ensure that the atrocities committed by the security operatives stop across Delta State, his ambition to become vice president in 2023 will become a marriage. If Ifiai Okoa continues to play ostrich, while this barbarity and shedding of innocent innocent people's blood continue, IPOB will ensure that his vice presidential ambition becomes a marriage, powerful stated.
He said, Delta State has become a safe haven for the Fulani terrorists under the administration of Mr. Okowa. Stressing that the separatist group is ready to fight the Fulani terrorists across the state because Delta remains part of Biafra territory. He added that Delta State is now a safe haven for these Fulani terrorists who are doing all manner of atrocities unchallenged. I hope are watching with keen interest and we are ready to confront Fulani terrorists in Delta State because Delta State is part of the Biafran territory. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB has reacted to the alleged killing of members of the separatist group in Delta State under the watch of Governor Ifiai Okowa. According to Ripus Nigeria, the spokesman of the group, Ima Powerful made his known in a statement released on Wednesday stressing that Governor Okowa should stop playing ostrich while the gruesome killing of innocent people in the state continues. He added that if he failed to ensure that the atrocities committed by the security operative stop across Delta State, his ambition to become Vice President in 2023 will become a marriage. If Ifiai Okowa continues to play ostrich while this barbarity and shedding of innocent people's blood continue, IPOB will ensure that the vice presidential ambition becomes a marriage, powerful stated. He said Delta State has become a safe haven for the Fulani terrorists under the administration of Mr. Okowa stressing that the separatist group is ready to fight the Fulani terrorists across the states because Delta remains part of Biafra territory. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by our